Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this all new 2023 Ford Escape Platinum Hybrid. I believe the Platinum name badge and trim, um, 2023 is actually the first time it's available in an Escape, so that's pretty cool. Starting off up front, we're going to have the completely new redesigned headlight and fog light group, updated grill, accent LED light strip across the top portion of the grill. Parking sensors are integrated into the uppermost portion of the bumper. This guy being a Platinum does have the 360 degree camera system. Your front facing camera is going to be right there. Beautiful dark burgundy color. I hope the lighting from the show is showing off that metallic flake. Color match mirror caps with chrome accents. Again, being a Platinum, it's going to have the 360 degree camera right on the mirror. Blind spot monitoring as you'd come to expect. It does have the passive entry system on the driver and passenger door. Minimalist style roof rack up top. Capless fuel fill port. Really nice machined in gray. I think this is an 18 inch wheel. I'm not 100% sure. I can't see it. Maybe an, oh no, 19. It's a 19 inch wheel, my bad. Updated LED tail lamps. Parking sensors in the bottom portion of the bumper with cross path detection. There's your platinum badge right there. Escape is spelled out and your backup camera is going to be under the A in Escape. And then your hybrid badge is going to be on the passenger side. This guy does have splash guards, which is always appreciated. Beautiful, beautiful looking Escape. And like I said over in that Escape video, I believe that's a um, titanium plug-in hybrid. Uh, they kind of revamped the Escape lineup. Um, in terms of trims, packages. If you like the ST lineup sporty look, but you want the hybrid, you can actually do that with the Escape now, which I am 100% on board for. Um, I do like the sporty look of the ST line in the Escape. However, I would want the fuel efficiency of a hybrid. So very, very cool. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So I do apologize for the lack of light in here. I will try to fix that in post, but starting off over here on the driver's side door, we have this really nice wood looking trim throughout. All the window controls are gonna be here as well as your mirror controls right there. Your lock and unlock button are here as well as your three seat memory. Trunk release is here. Lockable uh, capless fuel fill port is right there. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Dimmer switch for your instrument cluster. Fully digital instrument cluster, which is very, very cool. Let's see if I can get that to turn on real quick. Eh, not really. Up top on the dash, you're gonna have a heads up display. B&O Premium Audio Group. Really, really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and two. Over here, you have all the safety buttons for the vehicle, including your gap adjustment for your um, adaptive cruise control, as well as your lane keep assist button, and then your steering wheel mounted audio controls. Over on the right side of the steering wheel, we have all of the uh, buttons for the center uh, digital instrument cluster. Right here, we have your massive touchscreen display, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Um, I think it has a wireless connection uh, navigation, I mean, again, being a, a, a platinum, it's going to be the top of the line. Very nice light color wood trim throughout. Hazard light button right here. Push button start. Parallel park button. This toggles your 360 degree camera system. This is all your de uh, max defrost as well as your drive mode buttons. Wireless charging mat right here. USB, USB C, and a 12 volt outlet in there. Rotary dial shifter electronic parking brake this is your hold button chain storage two cup holders really nice size storage compartment beautiful two-tone black and kind of a um, frost color perforated seat I believe these are heated and ventilated you pretty much control everything through the touchscreen display the glove box is gonna be right here absolutely massive for this size of vehicle Coming up top to the uh, vanity, it's going to be incandescent lit for your passenger as well as the driver. Driver vanity also have a, has a three door universal garage remote. Up top, you got some glass of storage, and then you have the controls for the twin pane sunroof, LED dome map light master controls, and then your auto dimming rearview mirror. 
So overall, the interior uh, is is mildly or slightly refreshed. I know this touchscreen is new. A lack of physical buttons is new. I do like the sleek minimalist style that they're going for with this vehicle. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. Decent amount of legroom here. I'd say you have maybe a foot and a half of legroom between the, the front of the seat and the back of the seat at the average um, driving position. It looks like you're not going to have a pouch behind the driver, but you do the passenger. Looks like they have a Ford branded guard right here that does have uh, holes in it so you can use the air conditioning vents. Down here you also have a USB and USB Type-C. I will try and lighten that up in post for you guys. Then you also have a uh, fold down armrest slash cup holder, but there is stuff in the trunk. Even with the twin pane sunroof, I have a decent amount of headroom. Very bright dome map lights, hanger hooks and grab handles integrated into the outermost portion of the headliner. Let's take a look at the trunk if we can. All right, so to open the trunk of the vehicle, you're gonna come up to it under the C and escape, push it. It should automatically open for you. This guy does have the Ford pet carrier all anchored down, but there is some storage underneath here, which is nice. A little bit of storage over here. And then there is a 12 volt outlet over on the driver's side, as well as some hanger hooks for some groceries. Tons of space back here. And I believe these seats do fold down a little bit, giving you access to more cargo space. LED bed light or cargo light up top. And then when you're done, push the button and it will automatically close for you. So like I was saying in the beginning, tons and tons of new um, kind of revamped lineup for the Escape. Uh, tons of different packages as well as trims. So like I was saying, if you want the ST looks but want the fuel efficiency, you can get the hybrid. If you want a regular hybrid, you can do that with an SC or SEL or a titanium. If you want a plug-in hybrid, you can do that with, I believe, the higher-end trims. There's like the ST, the ST Elite, the ST Select, the, the uh, Titanium, Titanium Select. There's all sorts of different packages you can get. Um, tons and tons of cool features on these SUVs. And again, being 2023, this is a, I believe this is the Cinnabon uh, Tint Coat Metallic is what the Ford product specialist was saying. I believe it's new for 2023, she said. And um, Platinum is the first year that the uh, Escape is getting the Platinum trim. So very, very cool, very nice sporty looking Escape and it isn't even the ST line. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date with more Chicago Auto Show content and future vehicle walkthroughs, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.